Hey everyone, um, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a very, very long time. I do apologize because I did say I was going to uh, continue making updates, um, but a lot has changed. So I'm going to um, kind of give a background to those who uh, never watched my videos before and those who have just give you a quick, uh, quick like update um, from then to now and then pretty much go from there. Um, so for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Desiree. Um, I started making videos back in uh, 2013, yeah, just about, um, when I first wanted to um, enlist in the military. Um, I started making videos because I spent a lot of time watching other people's videos um, in their Navy journeys and getting a lot of information on how the process worked, um, why other people were joining the military, uh, boot camp videos a lot. So um, thanks to all those who actually have helped me um, and thank you for the, to those that are actually watching. Um, I hope uh, you continue watching. Hope I'm not boring you. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, depending on what I speak about, uh, you're more than welcome to ask. Um, I'm pretty, pretty friendly. Um, so anyway, uh, to start <clears throat> really quick, uh, to give a quick background of uh, why I started and where I came from. Originally, I was living in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I started making videos, obviously, because I wanted to um, talk about my Navy journey. Um, and I'm a complicated case. So of the, for those of you who kind of have similar situations as me, once I get to tell you, uh, I can help you out. Uh, a lot of people are nervous to talk about it, um, what I'm going to tell you, and um, just give you a little bit of um, information as far as my process and how long it took me. So I originally uh, met with a recruiter, and uh, back in 2011, um, I was pulled over while driving and I was under the influence of marijuana. Um, I never been drunk. I am actually 23. Um, I don't really have a use of alcohol. I don't smoke um, anymore. Um, actually that was the last time ever since I got in trouble because I was also in college and it put me back a uh, big big time. So anyway, uh, you live and you learn. Everyone learns differently um, and I'm just being real. I learned the hard way. So uh, yeah, I got arrested in 2011, so um, when I came to the recruiter, obviously they asked you if you've ever been arrested. That was the only branch I was willing to work with me, so I started beginning working with them, uh, give or take about 11 months. Um, I didn't do so hot on the ASVAB. I took it twice. The first time was a 19, the second time was a 34. Um, yeah, don't judge me. I'm not stupid. I, I've been in college my whole entire life. I've been to, to high school, graduated with flying colors. I never had an issue. I'm just really bad at math and really bad at vocabulary. And I freak out when it comes to standardized testing. And this test is CAT ASVAB, which you, if you don't know what that is, um, we can go in more detail later. But CAT ASVAB is different than a written standardized test. Basically, long story short, it's uh, the questions come out of a pool of easy medium and hard and if you get um, that question wrong the next question will be easier and if you get that question right depending on the level it's at you'll get a question that's harder so your your score is always fluctuating um, and that's no excuse it's just that I'm really bad at math and uh, vocabulary um, I do have the ASVAB for Dummies book and app on my phone so I've been going over that again um, so anyway I'm getting off topic. That was when I first uh, started my enlistment process. It took 11 months for me to finally realize I needed to go to a new recruiter because when you have a DUI, you need to find a recruiter that's going to want to do the paperwork. Bottom line, every recruiter is not going to be willing to do what it takes to get you in. So if you are someone that was in my shoes, whether it be a DUI, um, don't get discouraged I'll tell you right now because um, it took me that long I finally got another recruiter I switched stations I went to uh, Central Philadelphia um, I met this petty officer he was really cool and um, kudos to him he's on his A game it took him not even maybe a month to get my paperwork submitted and um, to the CO and I was approved so that was in New Jersey so I had my waiver approved, um, my scores weren't too hot, so I was actually going to, they were going to send me to MEPS to get a job um, with the 34, the score of a 34, because a lot of people were going in as CS. Um, but 
the government shutdown happened. So that's kind of what happened from then till now. The government shut down and um, I was waiting a really long time. And my boyfriend at the time, if you haven't um, watched my older videos, you can go back and watch them. Um, he's actually active duty military in the Navy. And at the time we were both enlisting at the same time and he left and I didn't. So uh, we've been together for five and a half years and we actually got married. So um, I ended up just getting married and I ended up moving with him to Virginia where he's stationed. So I'm currently living in Virginia Beach. Um, and I held off on the enlistment process. I just decided that I was going to go to school, which I'm currently um, in school right now for medical assisting. Um, I'll be receiving my associates in January, which is pretty cool. It's not exactly what I want to do, but it's a stepping stone. And since I've been settled here for a little while now, um, I moved here in March of 2014. Um, I just finally realized, like, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for me to start my enlistment process all over again. Um, the only issue is I have to resubmit my waiver. So because my waiver wasn't submitted in the big Navy, uh, it was just through that um, that command at that mess, which was Fort Dix Meps in New Jersey. I have to resubmit everything here, which what I believe in Virginia is Richmond. Um, Virginia is where I'm going to be shipping out of. Um, so I met with my recruiter yesterday. I took the practice ASVAB. Um, I didn't do the best but I didn't do horrible either um so she's gonna send me for the real ASVAB on the 26th which is next Wednesday um I'm actually taking it off site at a school I think so hopefully my nerves are a little bit calm um and I can study a little bit more now until then um but I'm really being positive I don't want to be extremely negative like I was before I was going crazy about the situation so hopefully I can get the um ASVAB score that I want and then once that's submitted and I have a good score um, then she's going to take my paperwork and resubmit it to the CEO and hopefully he approves it and then um, we'll talk from there but um, um, what else can I tell you guys if I'm talking really fast I apologize I just don't want to make this video extremely long um, and ramble which usually always happens <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's uh where i stand uh like i said i really do apologize for taking so long and i really hope that doesn't happen again this time and even if i don't get a good score on on as that ball come back and let you guys know uh if you have any questions in regards to um how anything works like maybe if you have a issue with a police record or been arrested and you want to know how it works for um the waiver and what you have to do uh you can contact me message me um you can leave a comment and i'll give you my email if it's not already listed on my um profile um what else or i actually put it in the comment on here um if you have any questions in regards to being married i know i do so anyone who's out there who's a dual military uh, couple in the same branch Navy, uh, please let me know. I know some things already, like the co the co location, and it's not mandatory, but they try. I know the pay, um, and I think that's really and how you can't uh, work under the same command, which is obvious. Um, so, if you have any questions that I could answer, or you need any advice, just let me know. Um, what else? And I think that's it, pretty much. That's my life in a nutshell. Uh, and if you want to know how Virginia is, hit me up. I'll tell you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't like it here. I I really want to go to Florida, but um, considering my husband is active duty now, almost two years, uh, I think if I get to go, I'm gonna pick Virginia so that it'd be a lot easier for us to be stationed uh, near each other. Cause this is uh, Virginia is where the biggest naval base is. Um, so it's, it's more than likely that I could get Virginia. So if you put Virginia down your dream sheet out of a school, uh, you're going to most likely get Virginia. Uh, and that was confirmed by a recruiter as well. So, uh, if you don't want Virginia, uh, don't put it on your dream sheet. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I guess I will get back to you guys soon. And again, you are more than welcome to subscribe, um, leave comments, message, questions, advice, uh, everything is welcome just no negativity if you don't like my videos don't continue watching you don't have to little put the little thumbs down you know like oh come on grow up how old are you uh, just 
and don't ever watch me again and um i also have a facebook and instagram and you are more than welcome to watch my old videos all right well thanks guys talk to you soon bye